What's up guys and welcome back to another video in the how to play CS in under five minutes series. Today we're going to be focusing on cat. And before I get into the video, I just want to say that I am a full-time college student. So thanks to sponsors like Boosterland, I'm able to keep pumping out this daily content. At Boosterland, the goal is to level up your base and collect bonus rewards for doing so. Earn boosters from your special buildings within the base or just from upgrading your base using code POLO or playing roulette. These boosters give you better odds when you use them, such as the double, that doubles the drop you get from a case, the re-roll that grants you another free spin, and the sell bonus that adds 10% value to whatever skin you're trying to sell. You can also get six different types of boosters just from completing the tutorial. Here's an AK Neon Revolution I opened from the $3 Kratos case. Oh! Oh my god. Oh wait, that's still good! Oh sh Wait, that's actually still good! If you head over to Boosterland right now, you can use code POLO for a free rare booster and 5% off your first deposit. Now, whenever I play in teams, whenever we're going over roles, I want to go over what the roles jobs are rather than how to actually do the job, because it's a lot more important to know what you actually need to do rather than ways of doing things that you don't know that you need to do. So the cat player's job is going to change round to round. If his team is fighting on mid, he should probably be fighting on mid. If his team is playing off of mid, they're probably going to need someone to hold window boost, and that will either be a jungle player over towards A or that will be the ladder player actually in ladder. And the reason why playing in ladder to hold window boost is so important is because if you're in here, you can spot ladder boost, you can spot catwalk up. And now essentially if the T's go B, you can come over here and now you're double B in essentially like three seconds. You are technically locked out of the bomb site here if the T's smoke you off and at higher levels, this will be tougher, but you can still somewhat support your B player. And because you're up cat and your B player is alone, he should be playing retake in the scenario. So he shouldn't need a ton of help. Now, if your team is fighting on mid, usually the con player, the cat player will stay with the offer to be able to hold this control. And how I like to run it in my teams is I generally, as the cat player, stay towards mid and I'd send the con player back over towards A or we would play a three mid setup. And the reason for this is that teams will go A more likely than they go B on average, so it just makes sense overall to put the con player over towards A. As a cat player, it's also extremely important for you to know that you can actually be very mobile when you're fighting mid, so you can double towards con, you can go towards window, you can get a ladder boost early in the round, so if the T's are running towards chair and they don't see you running the ladder, they'll say that ladder's clear, but you actually boosted, and you can just shoot them while they run up not clearing ladder. But now that I've explained your job as a cat player, now we can get into the ways that you can do your job as a cat player. The B player will molly up or B almost every round, so you can save your molly for underpass or boxes if you guys are fighting on mid, and if you have a decent spawn towards cat, you can generally get into ladder pretty safely and you'll see pro players throw this flash you come up to this door and you run throw off this you don't have to necessarily line it up but i just like to stay in line with the door you can come off here and the place that this flash pops in is it pops right here so any t or opera that's trying to scale towards chair and get to chair safely early you can actually come around this corner and beat and then just pick them off while they're blind crossing the chair i've gotten so many kills like this it is very very free if your team doesn't have mid control and you're starting with one player con one player window and you're over towards cat a good way you can deny info on CT side is you can throw this cat smoke and what this will do is it'll make the T scared that you can come out here and peek towards chair or peek towards valley. They'll usually spam the smoke, they'll nade the smoke, they'll molly behind the smoke and this will just slow down the T default to the point where they essentially have to burn another window smoke. Another way you can play cat is you can have your B player molly up or B early and both of you guys can actually come up towards cat and you can do this boost. And this is something that I see a lot of players get wrong. Usually they'll take this boost and they'll jump up over here. And yes, this is good, but can it be better? Yes, it can actually. In the beginning of the round, if you come over here and you just stay on his head as long as he's standing right here, you can actually hold chair cross like this. And this is a very unexpected angle for a lot of newer players. And if you do want to jump up here, what can happen is your B player can come in towards ladder or just play under you, hold for window boost, and you can actually hold chair or hold bottom con. So you're holding the A split now, you're holding the window boost, your opera can now rotate around market, he can pick up upper B, and this is actually a decent setup. If you think a B pop is coming early and you want to double B with your teammate, what you can do is you can throw this flash over mid, you can run up here, so if there's anyone upper B and they are going to B pop, they hear you running off cat, and you can come back over here and just hold a Molotov under this window. Now, if you have a Molotov from the T side, they'll be able to hear you cock the Molotov and hold it back, but the CT Molly doesn't make any noise. So you can sit under this window with someone jump spotting, and when you hear the T's coming, you can throw this Molotov, it pops almost instantly, you can throw a nade, and if the T's pop B, there's been times where I get a 4K off of this. Now let's say it's later in the round and you gave up towards mid, your teammates are playing three towards A and you have to play double B, I'll show you a couple setups that you can use. This angle on Van is actually really, really good for holding cat, because this little pillar right here actually blocks the bricks peak directly to this angle. So what will happen is if they have to peek this angle, they have to peek towards bench and everything. So they'll swing out not looking at you and this could be an easy kill. Now what your B player can do while you're holding this angle is he can actually jump spot upper B from behind you. And if he spots anyone upper B, he can just run away and drop the smoke, make a lot of noise running towards back sight. And now the T's will think that he was solo B and now he's running away sight. We have to chase him down. Little do they know your teammate here can actually just back up and play van while you're running away. And they'll run out balcony trying to find you and get mowed down by the cat player that you're baiting for. 
another nice little setup you guys can have over towards B is you can have your B anchor holding towards apps like this, and you can be towards default on this angle. Now, this is a really, really greasy angle, and this will pick you up a lot of kills because from the T's perspective, they can barely see you here. And let's say the T's try to walk out up your B. If your teammate back site gets contact first, you can actually switch around default, and now you're on a headshot angle holding balcony. And if they jump out apartments, this is a really easy way to multi-frag. Another thing to mention about this setup is if the T's try and come up towards cat and your guys over towards back site, you guys can actually double peek the cat players running up this line, which percentage-wise you should be coming out on top. Yeah, those are the basics for playing cat. The map that I am using is refrag.gg. I'm linking 10 free codes down below for you guys to use. I also do coaching on my Twitch if you guys want to go check that out, but thank you guys for watching.